I don't want them to gain another yard. You blitz all night! Oh, you know, that's what the Wink wants to do. This is Tim. This is your Giant Straight Talk. Powered by Online Big Blue LLC. Evidently, a, a person that the Giants fans have been clamoring for for a year, Isaiah Simmons, has been sent over from the Arizona Cardinals to the New York Football Giants for a seventh-round pick. I like the move. I think it's a good move. I think it's a move that the Winker is looking for. Uh, the 25-year-old has yet to miss a game in his NFL career. He's only started 37 times, though, over the past three seasons, and he has... Um, Let's see here. 258 tackles, seven and a half sacks, seven forced fumbles, two fumble recovers, and four interceptions. Um, he, he The current regime over in um, Arizona converted him over to safety this year. And I, I just, I guess that, um, you know, for a guy that's Mr. Mr. Versatile, he has, uh, I think he ran a 4.38 uh, at the combine. So he has the speed for the defense. And, and I think it's great because we, we talked about it the other day. You know, the Giants with the, with what they have should potentially go towards a big nickel package. And bringing in a six full 238-pound linebacker slash safety in Isaiah Simmons, I think you have that. I really do. Now, he did start uh, 30, uh, excuse me, 13. Uh, what, how many games did he start last year? He had 13 games last year with two interceptions 60, uh, for 61 total yards and a touchdown. He had four sacks and 99 tackles. Um... Like I said, it, it's I I think it's you know I do like the fact that he had sixty eight solo tackles and thirty one assists. I've said this before. When you have more solo tackles and assists, that's what you want to see out of your linebackers. It means they're leading the point of attack. It means that they are spearheading the attack. They're not doing what they refer to as pile on stats, where you just kind of jump onto the uh, the pile and then you get credited for an assist. So 66 out of his 99 tackles were, again, like I said, were solo tackles. The year before, he had 105, and 70 of those tackles were solo. He's just having a hard time, difficult time finding a position right now in the NFL. Is he a linebacker? Is he a safety? Is he a good cover guy? I mean, I think he's a good cover guy. I mean, he's athletic enough. I just think he needs to... Um, I just think he, he he just needs to come into his own a little bit more. It is interesting that if you look at his stats, he lined up uh, in the slot 45.6% of the times last year. So you, you have him covering the slot receiver. You have him covering the tight end. You have you had him covering the running back over in Arizona. Um, I, I like the move. I, I like the move a lot. I, I have no qualms or complaints about the move. It, it adds another presence into the giant lineup. It adds the ability to cover. He can also rush the passer. It's a guy that, like I said, the Giant fans since the day he was drafted, had, had, the Giant fans have been looking for Isaiah Simmons, and you know what? Now we got him. Only twenty-five years old. Will he? Will we find a? You know, will we find something for him in regards to some? You know, somehow fitting into the system? I think you will. I think you will. I do. I really do. And I just, like I said, I just think that the uh, the new regime, of course, over. Um, and Arizona kind of wanted to go to a different direction. He, like, uh, we said before, he was the eighth overall pick out of 2020 out of Clemson. I, I mean, I like it. I, I got nothing else to say about it. I think he's going to fit in well. You're going to see, you know, this may, this, may, uh, this may spell doom for some of the multitudes of safeties that we have on this roster. Because I do think you're going to, I do think you're going to put him into a quasi Logan Ryan peppers mold that we did a couple years back where they played like 70, 80% of their snaps in the box. But not only can he play in the box, but he can also cover. And I think that's what you're going to need to do. And, I, and you hope that the Winker, and I think they will, will use some of his pass rushing skills to get a little bit of, uh, generate a little bit more power, or excuse me, a little bit more of a rush from the outside. You know, get a little bit more of a speed rush going on there, have him loop around a little bit. Hell, even have him bust up through the middle of the field. Incredible athlete. Is he a traditional fit in the NFL? No. Can a, can a guy like Wink current, turn around and make him something better than he was in Arizona? I think he can. He's a guy that's always healthy. He's a guy that's always on the field. He, From what all reports are, he is, he's is he got a good head on his shoulders and he's willing to learn. And he's going to fit in He's gonna fit in well because, like I said, you can also put him in the linebacker position. And the Giants need an outside linebacker. He's not going to be a middle linebacker. You can put him on the outside linebacker position. Hel you know, help uh, Kayvon Thibodeau maintain that edge against the run where we had some problems before last year. And same thing with Aziz Ojolari. So I think it's a good fit, a good trade. I'm not going to say it's a steal by Shane because it's a seventh-round pick. 
Would he have potentially been released? Yes. Would he have gotten to the Giants? Probably no. So you're taking a gamble with a seven-round pick on a guy like Isaiah Simmons? I'm all for it. Sign me up. We're got a lot of fun videos coming out soon, so you know what? Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because you want to know why. That'd be awesome.